the good news, the incredible cosmic truth about who you truly are. The purpose of this presentation is to present the fundamental truth about who you are. I'm going to give you a different perspective and I'm going to present my logic and let you come to your own conclusions. Let's see if you can follow my logic. You are made of the same material that are in stars, galaxies, planets, and everything that you see. I only want to speak truth, logic, science, and common sense. Everything I say can be researched and most importantly experienced by you. You, the least common denominator of everything that you experience. I can't imagine you as a baby. We all were babies at once. When you first came into this world, you may have been described as loving, innocent, precious, adorable, miraculous, or an angel. People celebrated your arrival. We're born, we live, and we die. We live on earth and we age with time. With time, you become self-aware and begin to call yourself your name. You acquire this idea of separation that can be called the ego. Your ego is very convincing. It has a name, personality, belief, culture, and other things, but it is not you. You are not your ego. I think that's clear. You are the being experiencing the presence of an ego. That being's essence is within you. When you were first born, those descriptions were accurate, loving, innocent, an angel, that's your innate core. Words on this side are the ones that we pick up from our environment and others. They have nothing to do with your core, which is not changed, but it can get attached to your egos. I've been down the rabbit hole and back and haven't even scratched the surface of available knowledge. What I do learn, I'm leaving for my fellow travelers in hopes that it helps you on your journey. Fellow travelers such as you on this living spaceship that we call Earth. Seek knowledge for yourself. Know yourself. So let me explain this from a mainstream science point of view. So let's go back. Way back. The mainstream theory is that we all originate from the Big Bang. A rapid expansion of time and space from one point. At one point we were one. We were connected. Fast forward from the Big Bang and we have matter. Matter is the physical stuff that makes up you and I and the stuff we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis. Matter is able to be measured, which is why science focuses almost exclusively on this side of reality. We are made of matter. E equals mc squared. Energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. Energy is equated to matter. Everything is energy and there is only one. We are one. Science confirms this. So it is really true. We are one. We are all part of one energy. That energy created nature, which creates everything that we see, including ourselves. Many people study and copy nature, but don't tend to think that it could be intelligent or sentient. That intelligence created you, a human being. There's plenty of talk about the human or physical aspect of us, but little on the more expansive being aspect, the enigma that can't be measured by mainstream science. This consciousness observes your entire life and doesn't change as your body does. So let's recap. I agree with mainstream science that we are all one, made of the same thing, and come from the same source. However, I disagree that we are just our bodies. I believe there is more to you than what you see. The truth is that we know more about who you are not than who you are. Who you are at your essence is a mystery as you are part of the creative intelligence that allows the universe to exist. Science will tell you that you are just your body. Even your body is made of things that don't die. They change form. All is energy 
and it can be destroyed or created. We are the beings observing and interacting with this energy. We've been turned upside down. We've forgotten our connection to the mystery of the cosmos and nature and believe that we are just our egos and our bodies. We've lost our relationship with the intelligence behind everything. We've came out of balance with nature and traded our loving, beautiful planet for fake riches to satisfy a fake ego. The truth is, the being that you are contains the eternal one creative source called by many names. It is an unimaginable force that created space and time. It exists within you and is available for you to experience yourself. It is a benevolent force that I can only describe as unconditional love. It has to be experienced to be known. The secret is you are connected to and one with that intelligence and you are that source experiencing its own creation. You are already eternal. There is only the eternal now. You are part of the cosmic intelligence using matter as a vehicle to experience and express itself and your vehicle is indestructible. Through free will, the cosmic intelligence that is experiencing itself through you can be allowed to forget that fundamental truth. So now you have the cosmic truth about who you are. You are already eternal. No need to fear death. You are immortal. Consciousness is not matter. You are not your body. Question everything including me and seek your own experience. Thank you for your time.